Hi guys, it's part 16 of the Batmobile build. I really want this to be the last episode of the actual building. I'm hoping that there's only one episode more after this and that is a film I'm going to make of somebody driving this car. So let me show you what I've got to finish. Let's just take the camera off here. Right. Today I'm going to finish all the parts that I started making yesterday on the side and if that looks okay I'll move on to doing the other side then I've got to tidy all these bits of body filler up sand them all down these were these were all the little marks that I found in the bodywork after that the two pieces on the inside the inner wi the um, not the inner wings um, whatever they're called I don't even know what they're called but I've got to file them down anyway sand them down and after that I've got to fit the boots. I'm going to finish these two pieces off, fill them all up, sand them down, paint, get it all ready for paint. Once that's done, I've got to refit the steering and wire up the front and the rear lights. The only thing left to do then is fit the wheels, paint the wheels and fit the wheels. Hmm. I've only got four days to do all that. this back on here wow it's a little bit more than what I thought that never mind I've got four days to do it I should be able to do it I better hurry up let's get making I've made all the pieces that fit on the side of the car here so now all I have to do is position them and start fitting them
Also, bend down if you, if you want to see me. Oof. Right, not that you want to see me. I've been fiddling about with some wires. I don't like doing that, I've told you before. But anyway, I believe I've got this right. I've joined the brown to the blue wire. Never sounds right that, but I've done it anyway. And then I've extended the other blue wire and I've extended the other brown wire and I'm going to connect them to the battery. And there's either going to be a fire or some lights. Let's hope it's the lights. There won't be a fire. Got my extinguisher just in case. There won't be a fire. No. Something might get alt, but there won't be a fire. I'm convincing myself, not you lot. <laughs> Now I'm nervous. No sparks. Nothing's getting hot. Oh yes. Oh yes, we've got the lights. Whew, thank goodness for that. Excellent. Oh good, now I can wire it up proper. Well, now I know that the lights work. I've extended these two wires. I'm going to, I'm going to cut them a little bit shorter. And I've got to solder two of these little pins, one on each wire, and put them into this connector. And then this connector can clip onto the connector coming from the speed controller, and that way, once the ignition switched on, the light, the front lights will come on. Um, the wire, it's it goes near the ignition itself. So in the future, if anybody wants to put a switch to turn the lights off, even though the ignition's on, they can do that in the future. But I'm just going to wire it so that when you turn the key, all the lights come on. three things left to make before this car is ready for paint and um, the first thing is I've got to make an adapter out of these washers and these bolts which fits onto the rear axle and then when the when the wheels placed on the axle it'll locate on the adapter so as the axle turns it'll turn the wheel the other two things I have to make are a pedal and support a pedal and support bracket for the brake lever and um, I've got to also make something that sits underneath the, the accelerator pedal because when the accelerator pedal, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this no, oh, that's a bit difficult that oh, let's try it from this angle oh, you might be able to get that there when the accelerator is pressed this slider comes below the bottom of the pedal which means when the pedal's pressed it touches the floor so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit the pedal onto this and I'm going to cut a hole in here so when the pedals when the pedals pressed the slider goes into the hole instead of banging on the floor of the car Yesterday, I made the support bracket for the brake. I just need to make a little pedal that fits on here. And then, I can fit this to the base of the car. I also made 
the base for the accelerator pedal and now when the pedal's pressed oh, not easy to see I'm leaning over here now when the pedal's pressed it goes all the way down and I just need to fix that to the base of the car I also made this adapter for the rear wheel it's got three holes in, oh that's not easy holding the camera and doing this at the same time it's got um, three holes in this washer this washer gets welded this washer gets welded to the wheel of the car and then this goes onto the axle it goes on and when the wheel comes on it locates on the three pins the three bolts and then as the axle drives it drives the wheel but unfortunately I'm still waiting for the wheels to turn up Come on, there we go. I'm still waiting for the wheels to turn up so until the wheel turns up I can't do any more there so it looks like today I'm gonna fit this fit this bracket, finish the pedal off, fix it to the base of the car, fix this to the base of the car and then it's finished. It's just waiting for paint. I just have to start sanding down. But I've actually finished all the work on the car now. Oh, I tell a light. I've got one more thing to fit. That's the rear lights. But they haven't turned up either. So when they turn up, I'll fit them. But I'm going to prepare it for paint first. So that's it. Oh, and by the way, this is what the side of the car looks like now. Oh, you can't really see that. It doesn't, doesn't do it justice from this angle. Never mind. You'll see it soon. You'll see it driving around soon. it for this build in this episode you've seen me fit the accelerator and get it working when you turn the ignition on now you press the accelerator this car moves by itself uh, I've also fitted the brake and same as the accelerator when you press it it works so this car can move by itself it can stop by itself um, the only things that I have to do the only things that are left to do now is um, change the rear wheels I've still got the plastic rim wheels on I've got to fit the steel rimmed wheels but they haven't turned up yet so I can't do that I'm still waiting for them in the post and the other thing I have to do is to fit the jet engine it's already been on I've taken it off because I've got to do the I've got to do the black paint I don't want to get black paint on it so I'll refit that once it's been once it's been painted um, what else is there left to do now? I think the only thing left to do is to finish this off and blend this in, sand it down, file it down, um, put some put some body filler on, and I'm going to be doing that in a few minutes. So the next time you see this car, somebody will be driving it. I'm going to make a video and I shall put that on the internet, but I can't I can't promise it's going to be within the next five days because, well, I've got to find somebody to drive it. And I've, I've got to find somewhere to drive it and the weather's got to be good so it's things out of my control I'll do my best and I'll get it up as soon as I've made the film I'll get it back up I'll get it up on the internet so that's it for this episode guys thanks for watching please if you like what I'm doing do me a favor subscribe to my channel 
press that like button. And guys, if you need to know, ask an expert. And I'm no expert. Catch you next time.